Hello there, all my friends. I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. So now we will see how to run in this uh, 390F CAT. So this one, it is a 1 to 8 scale around net weight 180 kg. So in the box with wooden box, it is 210 kg. So now radio on with Paladin EV radio and uh, battery already inside. Two big battery later we will see. Power switch here, power it on. Here it is the battery voltage. Each battery 12 volt, two together 24 volt. So light on, two light on the big arm, two light on top of the cabin. And for the sound system, cablet sound system, I change a big speaker. So increase the first engine on. Increase the volume. Okay, that's here the track sound. Sprocket here, yeah, that's the rear side. Here is the front side. Later we will spinning around. Go to back, go front, spinning. And the turning sound. For the hydraulic now, Let's run it with mix control. Let's uh, first move to the top to see. That's the top position. Okay, dig in. Slowly. the dig in motion. So let's see a little bit of the, all the details. Now the volume it is at maximum. So let's see inside. First the cabin door, we can get it open. So all these are, are steel plate. Only top of the cabin, it is a little thin. For us, the main body, all the metal very thick, we will see one by one. So now voltage around 23.8 volt. So if fully recharged, around 24.5 volt. Okay, the seat. Okay. This one can put more glue to secure it. It's only put inside. So all steel one. Right? After open this one. Here, inside we got two brushless ESC for the driver motor. And also the receiver inside and the sound system inside, here got a fan, suction air out for cooling. Here is the big speaker. Okay, let's open this side. Here we see this one, that's three distribution valve with 30 kg servo. So, Three distribution well, one for the big arm, one for front arm, one for the bucket. Here, the big black one, that's the block for distribution uh, the oil to all the oil channel inside, and then distribution to the big arm and the front arm and the bucket. So here, for the return line, we got a filter on the top, see here, for cleaning the uh, particles inside the oil system. Here, that's the pre oil pressure. So when you run in the, the pump, see the pressure. So it is around 50 kg per square cm. 50 kg. And now the load of the pump maximum I set up 50%. So that's pretty much for the 
pump motor already top, so no more. Even we raise the percentage of the load, but the, the motor cannot stand that much. Later we will see the motor. This one, that's the pressure release valve, adjusting the system pressure. So now I already increased to the maximum. Uh, let's say if I screw in a little bit more, uh, for the pump motor will not stand too much pressure. So already I increased to maximum when running the arm bucket moving around 50-55 kg per square cm. So that's inside the black one, that's two battery. We will see from other side. Okay, here a uh, maintenance door open and it can open this one. You will see the pump. Well, this one is a suction line, transparent. You can see the oil flow inside. That's the big pump. So turning that direction. Here, that's a brushless motor so secured with this seat black one it is all steel one right? with all these big screws so three wires brushless motor here that's uh esc for the motor so ata okay here also have a fan for cooling the esc so now running the pump to see start moving the arm that's the 50 percent load of this pump and motor Put my finger there, you will see. Here, that's the inlet. Here, this copper pipe, that's the outlet. You will see the size and leading to the well block other side. And this one, that's the battery. We got two battery, so running in one line. So each one, it is 22 AH there. 12 volt, 22 AH. So two together, 24 volt, 44 AH. So you see, all stainless, this no, all steel, not stainless steel, all steel one. So cutting and welding together. So let's see, most upper part, the shell, it is same as this thickness. So it is around two minimum liter, two minimum meter. So, and here have the frame. So here this frame. It is around five minimum meter. Less, a little less than five minimum meter. Okay, see others. All steel one. Right? Here's the track. See, thickness. Uh, one, two, three. Three point, three point four minimum meter. One, two, three. Yeah, three point four minimum meter reading here. And for all this bridge, you see the thickness of the metal plate. So all big boat. So this one, it is very strong. This is a stainless steel of the arm. And all here. So the thickness for the bucket, I will turn it around, you will see. So here the, the connections, you see the thickness from here. So here, that's the thickness of the bucket metal. See the size of the two cylinder for the big boom. So, and this connecting by it is bigger than my finger. Connection here and downside, see the thickness of the connection supporting the metal seat. So here, the connection, this is copper hose, copper hose. So downside, that's plastic hose. And this is the top, this cylinder same. So for the bucket, a little shorter, but for the diameter, it's all big size. So here, that's the spinning motor, also brushless, three wires, and the two driver motor also brushless. So all the motor here, brushless motor. Gearbox on there. And you see here, also all the holes, see the size, that's for all the cylinder. So supply sufficient oil flow. And this one, that's the oil tank. So you see from here to downside, it's all the oil tank. So you almost can feel like a, a six, seven minimum liter, maybe around. So it's a big one.
So from this angle, see the bridge how thick the metal and the idler wheels. So here, come to here, all the main frame, thick metal, and go to the other side, you will see. So it's connected by six big bolts from downside to the middle bridge. So here, that's the drive wheel. See all this thickness of the steel. And now with the painting off, you will see shining stainless steel inside. So here also the track, very strong. They just contact so the size for the drive wheel and the slot inside the track, just the same size. So here that's the inner side of the drive wheel. Inside, that's the brushless motor. So, open the cover, you can see it. So, that's the 180 kg big stuff, and uh, mainly it is very strong. So, if you want more accurately control, so you already see what it can do when I'm operating for digging. This one you cannot compare with big factory or CNC, that machine, they can be operated very finely controlled and uh, you will see it very delicate but this one is big and very strong so what is the price you think it worth talk to me and there are much more big excavators than this one that's a real machine so uh, like uh, 600 kg for the most small real excavator if you like i will also show you and uh, so see you and uh, tell me what you like to see what's your opinion let me know See you again.